Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements regarding Babu Jagjeevan Ram. He was a member of the INC. He demanded voting rights for the Dalits at the Hammond Commission for the first time. As we have to select the correct statement of statements. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. The Prime Minister paid tributes to freedom fighter Babu Jagjeevan Ram on his 115th birth anniversary. He was a national leader, a freedom fighter and a crusader of social justice, a champion of depressed classes and an outstanding parliamentarian. In 1931, he became a member of the INC. He was instrumental in laying the foundation of the All India Depressed Classes League in 1934-35 and was a champion of social equality and equal rights for the depressed classes. He proposed in 1935 at a session of the Hindu Mahasabha that drinking water wells and temples be opened to the untouchables. And in 1935, Babuji also appeared before the Hammond Commission at Ranchi and demanded for the first time voting rights for Dalits. Consider the following statements regarding Earth Observation Satellite. Now, Earth Observation Satellites are the satellites equipped with remote sensing technology and Earth Observation Satellites are satellites used for military purposes only. As we have to select the correct statement or statements, both, if we have to choose from both, second is not fitting well, right? So only the first is correct and second is not correct. The correct answer is A. The Union Minister of State Science and Technology said that Earth Observation Satellite satellite will be launched in the second quarter of 2022. Earth Observation Satellite are the satellites which are equipped with remote sensing technology and the Earth Observation is basically gathering of information about Earth's physical, chemical and biological system. Many of these satellites have been employed on sun synchronous orbit and they can be used for agriculture, water resources, urban planning, rural development and the rest. Other Earth observation satellites which were launched by ISRO are including Resourcesat, Cartosat, Resat, Oceansat, Scatsat, Saral, Megatropics and Insat. Consider the following statements regarding District Ganga Committee. District Ganga Committees were constituted in the districts of Ganga River Basin. The DGCs are mandated to ensure proper utilization of assets created under Namami Gange. As we have to select the correct statement or statement. Statements, both are correct. C is the correct answer. The Ministry of Jal Shakti has launched the digital dashboard for Ganga, District Ganga Committee's performance monitoring system under Namami Gange. The digital dashboard has been devised to help the DGCs in enhancing people river connections. DGCs were constituted in the district of Ganga River Basin for putting in place a mechanism at the district level. It was constituted to ensure people's participation and management and pollution abatement in River Ganga. The DGCs are mandated to ensure proper utilization of assets created under Namami Gange, monitor drain sewage falling in River Ganga and its tributaries, creating a strong connection of people with Ganga rejuvenation. Consider the following statements regarding biogas. Biogas is based upon the use of dung to produce gas which is used as domestic fuel. Technique is based on the decomposition of organic matter in the absence of air. They cannot be used for cooking. As we have to select the correct statement of statements, first and second are correct. A is the correct answer. As the country aims to provide energy security to every citizen, biogas can play a critical role in transforming the energy dependence, especially rural and agricultural communities. Biogas is based upon the use of dung to produce gas, which is used as domestic fuel, especially in rural areas. Technique is based on the decomposition of organic matter in absence of air and it yields gas consisting of methane and carbon dioxide. They can be used as source of energy. It can be used as cooking and lighting fuel and leftover slurry serves as enriched manure. The Hubble Space Telescope is a part of NASA's Great Observation Program and the James Webb Space Telescope is a joint project of NASA and ISRO. As we have to select the not correct statement, first is not correct. As we have to select the not correct statement, second statement is not correct, B is the correct answer. The Hubble Space Telescope has photographed a Jupiter-like protoplanet forming through a process that researchers have described as intense and violent, named in the honor of trailblazing astronomer Edwin Hubble. The Hubble Space Telescope is a large space-based observatory. It is a part of NASA's Great Observatories program and the James Webb Space Telescope is an international collaboration between NASA, European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency. Ganoderma lucidum is a type of it is a type of mushroom. Recently, worldwide attempts are being made to popularize Ganoderma lucidum for business and livelihood by cultivating it on woods, logs and sawdust. It is a medicinal mushroom in use for centuries to heal diseases. 
like diabetes, cancer, inflammation, ulcer as well as bacterial and skin infection in India. However, the potential of the fungus is still being explored. It is considered one of the most important medicinal mushrooms in the world since its chemical constituent exhibit numerous medicinal properties. With respect to INS Vikrant, consider the following statements. It was the first aircraft carrier of the Indian Navy. It was decommissioned in 1997. It gained national importance or prominence for the role it played in the 1965 war as we have to select the correct statement or statements. First and second are correct. A is the correct answer. The Mumbai police has registered an FIR against BJP leader and his son on allegations of swindling money collected for restoration of INS Vikrant, which was the first aircraft carrier of Indian Navy, gaining national prominence for the role it played in the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War and the five-story warship was decommissioned in 1997. In 1999, the NDA-led central government had gifted the ship to the state for conversion into a martyr's museum and a decision was made to scrape the ship as she had become difficult to maintain. In 2014, the ship was sold in an online auction to a shipbreaker for 60 crore. While the sale was challenged, the ship was scraped in November 2014 after an SC order. Consider the following statements with respect to Unique Identification Authority of India. It's a statutory authority, has been established under the provisions of Society's Registration Act of 1860. Before its establishment as a statutory authority, it was functioning as an attached office of the Planning Commission. As we have to select the correct statement or statements, only first and third are correct. C is the correct answer. The CAG of India has put up the UIDAI for deficient data management. It's a statutory body, has been established under the provision of the Aadhaar, Targeted Delivery of Financial and Other Subsidies, Benefits and Services Act of 2016. It works under the aegis of Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. It was created to issue unique identification numbers named as Aadhaar to all residents of India. Before its establishment as a statutory authority, it was functioning as an attached office of the then Planning Commission. Consider the following statements. With respect to UNHRC, it was created by the UNGA in 2006. The members serve for three years and are not eligible for immediate re-election after serving two consecutive terms. As we have to select the correct statement or statements, uh, yes, the first one is correct and second is also correct. C is the correct answer. The UNGA was scheduled to vote on April 7th on a draft resolution to suspend Russia from the UNHRC. It's an intergovernmental body within the United Nations system responsible for strengthening the promotion and protection of human rights around the world. It replaced the former UN Commission on Human Rights created by UNGA on March 15, 2006. It is made up of 47. UN member states who are elected by majority vote through a direct and secret ballot of the UNGA. The members serve for three years and are not eligible for immediate re-election after serving two consecutive terms. With respect to compressed natural gas, consider the following statements. It is a clear, odorless and non-corrosive gas. It can be used only in its gases form. As we have to select the not correct statement, second is not correct, B is the correct answer. Black and yellow taxi drivers have demanded an increase in the base fare, citing surging prices of CNG. As, uh, which were hiked recently basically. CNG is a natural gas under pressure and remains clear, odorless and non-corrosive. It is also a cheaper, greener and more efficient alternative to traditional petrol and diesel fuel. It is mostly methane gas like gasoline produces engine power when mixed with air and fed into the engine's combustion chamber. Although vehicles can use natural gas as either a liquid or a gas, most vehicles use the gases form compressed. Consider the following statements. The name of this country means land of incorruptible people and the northern part of the country consists of Savannah. It was a former French colony and gained independence as Upper Volta in 1960. We are describing the country of Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso's former president, Blaise Compoare, gets life sentence in Sankara murder case. Burkina Faso is a former French colony which gained independence as Upper Volta in 1960. It means land of incorruptible people which was adopted in 1984. The capital is Ugadugo. It is in the center of the country and it is bounded by Mali, Niger, Benin, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana and Togo. These many countries. The northern part of the country consists of savanna with prickly shrubs and stunted trees that flourish during rainy season. Let's look at the practice question for the next segment. Consider the following statements. Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana was launched in 2015. It is a financial institution set up by the government. It lends directly to micro entrepreneurs and individuals. We have to select the correct statement. Thank you so much for watching. Answer it correctly.